Okay, this is the third time. Let's try it again. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser. I told you. Stand down or this bitch is dead. Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right. I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady's my only ticket out. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? Okay, hopefully I get this sequence right. You're doing better than you think. You're still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. <clears throat> you said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there. But still, I know you're kind. I saw it a million times in the Gulf. The only thing augmented goons like you care about is gaining the advantage. Just like the cops out there. I'd have to be stupid to do anything you tell me to. Okay, so that was the right answer. Well, the right option. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. I know that. The question is, do they? You know what? We're done talking. The puta who tricked my brother thought he had his beat. But we are so much tougher than killing him. I'm gonna go find him and anybody else who helped him. And when I do, they're gonna see the Angel of Vengeance in action, baby. Listen, the hacker's plan was for you to die. He knew there would be civilians here tonight. He thought of everything. He used your brother because he knew you would trust him. That's how well he knows you. He expected you to take a hostage. Just like he knew the cops would kill you for it. You're right. Damn! You know he even asked me once about hostages. I told him I would if I had to. I thought I had to here, but I can't afford you, can I? Go on, get out of here. You're free to go. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got Blade here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cameron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. Okay, finally. Adam! Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. Yeah, so that finally... Finally did that right. It took like three reloads. I'm gonna have to remember to cut those out, but... Talk to her. Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, but... What about the other hostages? My husband was with them in one of the assembly labs, and I overheard talk about a bomb. Don't worry, they're safe. Oh, thank God. When those men surprised us. Mr. Jensen, they should not have been able to get in. With the typhoon being moved in and all, I double-checked the protocols myself. Yeah, I expect Pritchard's doing the same thing right now. Stay here. DPD will want to question you. But you and your husband should be reunited soon. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. You're a You're goddamn right I am. Now, where's my plus one sword? Oh, wrong. Wrong, uh, game. Okay, so, she's safe. Her husband's safe. People are safe. Sorry, Mr. Thorpe. The target is on lockdown. No one's dead. My wife. She's still 
in there. My wife, is she all right? She's fine. A little shaken up, though. Swap will need to debrief her. You'll see her soon. I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I think I've given up on her. You're that a was true hero, quick. man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet. Thank God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. Yay. So, I think that's all that there is to do around here. And after this is all the side missions, and I think I'm going to do those uh, without commentary because it's just so, it's just tedious work, and I really can't commentate over. I can't even commentate over the main missions, to be honest. I mean, I have literally nothing interesting to say ever. As you probably are well aware of. So, yeah, I'm going to do main missions, commentary, and side missions without commentary, and all the grinding and, uh, well, probably not grinding, but <clears throat> searching for upgrades. I'm going to do that on a, uh, as a separate deal. Also, I'm going to be starting a no commentary series for uh, you know, older games like uh, Icewind Dale I'm currently starting so that I'll have uh, more content to put up on my channel. And, you know, it will give uh, people to see whether or not they'd like to actually they like with or without commentary. But, uh, yeah, let's just talk to her and get this in this little session right here. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan, what are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired, she said the papers were lying about Mexican Town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones, to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. 
But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't peg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research. Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. I'm gonna find him, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik. But right now... You've gotta get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Okay, so that's going to wrap up this uh, little play session, so thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you could leave a comment, tell me what I'm doing well, not doing well, you know, maybe leave a rating, whatever, you know. Help me out. And look for uh, my NoCom series. Hopefully I'll be able to get that up soon. So thanks again and see ya.